Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today I'm playing the Tempo Rogue. I'm back to rank 4. Hopefully it'll go better in today's video than the last one. Alright, against the warrior. Let's see. Warriors can be tricky. I've had... I think I've won like one out of three games against warriors with this deck. So it's definitely possible. But it's gonna be a challenge. I need early minions. Like, if I can get an early Undertaker, that'll be a huge help. So it's not the best, but hey, at least I have something to play in turn one. Just gotta hope he doesn't have a Cruel Taskmaster available. Alright. So, let's start out with the Lebanon. At least, if he does play an Armor Smith, I have the perfect answer. Backstab SA7. So hopefully he will do just that. Mm, fiery wax, not pleasant, but I don't mind it as much as a cruel taskmaster because at least he takes some damage from killing these. So let's just keep it coming. Uh, hopefully it draws something because next turn is not really obvious because unless he plays a minion that I can kill with the backstab as a seven, like the armor smith that I was talking about, but. If he just armors up here, I think I'll just play a naked SI7 without the combo. And so I can coin out a Sludge Budger next turn. A Sludge Budger turn 4 and 5, that's pretty strong at least. Well, let's see what he does. Ah, okay. So, oh and he saves that, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of bothersome, to be honest. I do not have a good response for this. Well, I think actually backstep as a 7, I think I'm still gonna do it. He's gonna draw two cards, but he's gonna draw two cards anyway. But this way, I save my uh, loot hoarder from dying to the Acolyte. And sure, he has an axe, but I have two minions on the board now. And... I'm keeping up the pressure. I mean, this has to be a fast game for me to win. I cannot win the long game, so it's no point like trying to be all super duper extra efficient with the cards if it's gonna take all day to win. Mm, okay, so that's the armor smith. Not great, but I do have a sludge build here. So. I mean, sure, he can get some extra armor from attacking into that, but I'm not really sure he wants to do that unless he's gonna execute it. It's also nice that I get this out here on before he can play a Black Knight. Unfortunately, he can play a Black Knight next turn if he has one, but what can you do? Another armor smith. Ugh. Not pleasant. And then execute. Well, that's not what I wanted to see at all. Yeah, because now he can just kind of... Double armor smith. I think I'm still going to play this one. And I'm going to kill that armor smith, so at least he doesn't get double armor from every damage taken anymore. But... At... That was pretty nice for him. If he has efficient removal for this sludge belcher, I'm in serious trouble. If he has a weak turn now, mm, I could make it work. Yeah, it just keeps getting more and more armor. Oh no, he does have efficient removal. Well, hmm, not looking good. Well, let's play the low fab and hope for the best. Oh, if I had an Assassin's Blade and Deadly Poison, could do some stuff here. Because I also have to double Eviscerate, so I could do a lot of damage really fast. Unfortunately, he already got a lot of armor from those double armor smiths, so that is an issue. Huh, well, that's not too scary for now. But the thing is, by the time he could get like an 11-11 out, I mean, it'll probably be over anyway if I don't kill him. And to be honest, I don't really have any really good plays here at all. I mean, I need to get rid of that armor smith. So, 
I'll do just that. And I guess I will fan of knives to get rid of that 2 1. Okay. Draw a card. Do that. Wow, he's still at 26. Not good. Come on, Assassin's Blade. Yeah, Assassin's Blade Harvest Golem would be a reasonable play next turn. Hmm. Gonna clear the board. Well, I could also draw two cards here. So, uh, Acid Drake. Well, that's not bad. That's certain, certainly reasonable. He's not at crazy health levels, and he has used both armor smiths. However, oh wow. But I think I'm gonna put a minion instead here. See, maybe I get Deadly Poison I can play it with later. Get that out. Perfect. Eight mana. Um, but he still has both shield blocks, I believe. So that is a bit of a problem. I really need my Deadly Poison. If I get that though, could win. This is like 20 damage. I have the Blade Flurry to go with it. Like as a finisher, or to clear the board. Lebanon, Eviscerate, a lot of damage. I have no time mm. for games. Windrunner, she's annoying, <laughs> to say the least. Okay. Well. Alright, how do we do this? Well, I guess it depends on what I draw also. Blood Mage. Oh, that'd be interesting with Blade Fairy later. However, I think this turn. No. There's no point in me killing Sylvanas unless I play more minions. But I am gonna play more minions. Okay, you know what? Let's get rid of Sylvanas. She is a pain. Yeah, let's just play it all here. Would be nice to save this for the spells, but. I mean. It's better to just get it out now, to be a pain for him. Okay. Your magic shall no! Oh, Well, that's no good. I could really use that extra card. Huh. Okay, come on, another Acid Drake into Deadly. Well, this would be nice if I had spell power, maybe. Undertaker. Oh, not what I need now. Not very helpful. Okay, let's just play those. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't even... Ah, oh, you know what, this is fine. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep going here. I mean, he is at 17. If he doesn't get his shield blocks... And I get, like... A deadly poison? Oh, no, that's scary. Well, see how much would it go? 10, 14. Not quite lethal. Pretty close though, but yeah, wouldn't be enough. So, is there anything I could do here? Nope. I cannot kill that. I've got down to one life. Let's go. just do what we can. And well played. I mean, nope. Oh, wait. What? Oh, there we go. It's just lagging. But you can see, I got him down to 8 life. Even though he got like those double armor smiths and all that stuff, so it can work. You just need to get a slightly better run of cards. And then, then you can win this matchup, but it's a tough matchup for sure. Let's see what we get in the next game. Gotta win sometime. I mean, I'm pretty unfortunate in my last few matches here on video. Uh, let's see... Priest, okay. I've done reasonable against Priest this season with this deck. I've actually had a positive win rate, which I didn't suspect I would have with this deck, but that's how it has turned out. So hopefully we can continue that. Hmm, at least we have an Undertaker, Blood Mage. Hopefully he doesn't have, uh, well, a smite, I suppose. I know, I, I mean, some priests run smite, some don't. It really depends on the person. And I'm guessing one of the big reasons that 
priests have been putting smite into their decks lately is the Undertaker. Uh, let's do this. And if I'm really lucky, I can draw a Harvest Golem. Let's see what he does. I have some pretty good removal in hand. Say he heals himself, okay. Well, but if he played a minion, I could probably kill it, unless he played that big guy and healed it. But even then, I actually could have killed it. Anyway, let's see here. Pretty weak hand, unfortunately. I think I'm just gonna do that. There's no real point in me attacking here, I don't think. And... Priests don't really run oozes lately. They used to, but I haven't seen them in a while, because you have so many good cards to run nowadays, like the Dark Cultists and stuff, and they can't fit in the Uses anymore as easily as they did. Oh, this is like, if you would just play some minions, well, at least this is a definitely minion. This hand is not very good against an empty board, at least next turn I can play low up. I think now I'm just gonna attack here. Hmm. Let's see. I hope he doesn't have the Soul Priest Circle of Healing combo here. That would be kind of brutal. Okay, so coin. Holy Nova. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's not as brutal, because at least I keep my Undertaker. A Yeti. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play that on the Yeti, instead of Lofa, just because that's like a death rattle minion. I think I'm just gonna attack here. I mean, he's getting down pretty low. Hmm. Lofa next turn, backstab to try and kill the minions if he plays that. He doesn't have the soul piece sort of healing combo because he would use that last turn. Holy Nova, that is not scary at all. Okay. It's interesting, it also heals my Undertaker. But he draws two cards, I guess that's the point. But uh, let's see here, I'm not that far off lethal now. Wow. Yeah. Five, seven. 11. I'm 4 damage of lethal. I'm saying 5 because I'll be if I play the Sludge Belcher. I think I played the Sludge Belcher. And just go face there. I mean, he's getting so low. Yeah. That gotta be the play. I just hope he didn't draw a lot of good removal here. He might have Shadow with Death now for the Undertaker, actually. But at least that's 3 mana. And then he has only 3 mana left, so. It's kind of limited what he can do. Like, he needs to remove pretty much everything. I'm not sure how he would do that. And he would even take 2 damage from the Lebanon too. Unless he steals it. But if he steals it, then he can't do much else. So, this is looking pretty good. Yep. Yeah. What about a holy fighter? Get him up to nine. Kill that. He could kill that. But then there's still still that. So yeah, I don't think. I'm not sure there was any combination of cards I could have saved him there. Or maybe like double molten giants and taunt them up. <laughs> but I haven't really seen any priests run that combo. All right. So one one so far. Hopefully we can make it a two one and have a decent win rate in the video. <laughs> Alright, so, where the opponent? Hunter, okay. Those are familiar. I like playing versus them. As long as I don't get a terrible start. Okay, so I'm keeping the backstab because that's like the Undertaker killer, basically. The problem, he has a coin though, so he could get the Undertaker up to free life immediately. But let's keep the backstab anyway and hopefully get our own early minions. Okay, no Undertaker, but we got a Lebanon, Blood Mage. So even though we're going first, doesn't mean we're gonna be a bit low on cards, but 
the blood mage should hopefully help a bit with that and blood mage can give us that free damage backstab in case he buffs up an undertaker this turn let's see what he does Yep, that's the Undertaker. Do we get a coin, something? No. Okay. Well, the free damage backstab is not very important, but the two damage backstab certainly is. So it would have been better with a loot order, but hey. Or if that had been an Undertaker. So it's not the best start, but it's a decent start. Hopefully we get something we can play next turn though, since it's looking a little lackluster there. But most of the cards in the deck are free mana or cheaper, so there's a pretty high chance that we'll get something better to play here. Alright, he still has the coin, right? So... Could play Animal Companion, for example, or Mad Scientist. Okay. So, how do I want to do this? Hmm... So you might have the bow. So I want to activate the secret this turn if I can. The thing is, if it's explosive then everything dies. So maybe I should just do this. And then see what it is. Okay, so it's explosive. Yeah, okay, I played that correctly then. And that drew a half scholar. Good. Alright. Don't have an obvious play for next turn, but have a good turn 5. And do have a Viserate, so that's nice. Blade Flurry usually ends up being useful versus a Hunter, especially if I can get a Deadly Poison or... Um, an assassin's blade. Okay, so we're leading the HP race here now, but I have a terrible hand for this turn. This is a super duper weak turn. It would actually have been better if he had played a minion, because then, hey, at least I could have killed that. Ah, yeah. Not happy about this. Hmm. He's probably gonna play a trap this turn. I figure. Still has the coin. Hmm. Could play Kodo. Ah, the secret. That's what I thought because of the bow. At least he's not playing anything too crazy here. So let's just activate the secret. Um. Ah, he still has the coin, so he could potentially play the. Lion King or Black Knight next turn. Oh, that's... Do I play Lofa? Do I play Sludge Belcher? I think I play Sludge Belcher because I don't really want to take that damage to the face. And I just gotta hope he doesn't have the Black Knight yet. I guess there's about one third chance that he has it. Except he would probably toss it out of his opening hand, so the chance is a little lower than that. Ah, Nope. No luck here. Ah, well. I mean, no matter when I played this Lot Spelcher, it was gonna get Black Knighted, so... Waiting would just have increased the chance that he would have had it. Uh, well, if I can get a Deadly Poison, I'm pretty sure I can win this game. Like, that's 9 damage over 2 turns. That's... 13. Hmm... I think playing low for pair is best. It trades really well with the Black Knight and it stops him from, well, playing spells here. I guess he could play a Hunter's Mark, but if he does that, I would consider it a victory. Okay. Oh no, he has his own Sludge Belgia. No? Okay, good. Well, huh. maybe Assassin's Blade Blade Fairy might actually be an idea here. So if I do that, that's 6, 11, get him down to 8 life. I still have an Eviscerate and an S7. I'm kinda low, but if I do this, get rid of some of his stuff. Other play would be Chillwind plus SI7. 
and I could still kind of clear the board, but I wouldn't do that kind of damage to him, but I would have nice stuff on the board. Um, I could also play Assassin's Plate SI7 on the next turn attack phase on Blade Fury. And kind of get rid of that and that. Okay, so if you do... No, 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 I can't do that. That's too much mana. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so do that, 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 I'll kill that. But at the same time... So I can do... If I do this, that, that's only six damage, but I can kill like that. Okay, you know what, let's do it this way. And then... So yes, six, nine. Let's kill that. Okay. So I'm afraid that he could have killed me next turn if I didn't kill that. I don't know. I thought it was a tough choice for me. I really wish I had deadly poison. Well, maybe I can draw it next turn. We'll see what he plays here. I could potentially be able to kill him next turn. He should not be able to kill me this turn after I took care of most of his stuff there. Okay. And yes, I was basically betting that he can't buff his Undertaker twice this turn. Because if he can, then I should have killed that instead. In fact, maybe I should have. I was considering it. But it's, it's tough. Okay, let's see what he does. I don't want... I've done many things I don't want, really. <laughs> okay. Maybe he'll play a Houndsmaster? I hope he doesn't. Okay. The, uh, I wonder if he's gonna trade. Or if he's gonna go for the kill. I think if he, if he goes for the kill, he dies, right? We'll see here. Nah, he's gonna be a bit more careful than that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so nine. I need ten damage. Can I get ten damage? I think this turn I should probably play the Blade Flurry, Assassin's Blade. That's six. If I had nine mana, ten, I would have lethal, but I do not. So I guess I'll just try and set it up so I can kill him next turn. I'll just do backstab, assassin's blade, attack face, late flurry, and then do this, and then just hope I don't die this turn. I mean, he has five damage visible. He needs nine from the hand. He play a beast and two kill commands. That will kill me. That. And it would have to be a cheap beast for two mana less, but not like this a lack of those, like Haunted Creeper, Web Spinner, the one he just drew from the dead Web Spinner and so on. Uh, he's probably gonna try and clear the board to survive, since I doubt he has lethal here. And, well, I have an Eviscerate, so looking pretty good. I guess unless I draw a backstab and he leaves the board empty. <laughs> but actually I think I have used both backstabs this game. Yeah, so I can't draw that. Okay. Knife Chapter King Mukla. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's anything he can do with three mana to even clear the board. Alright, so this video certainly went better than yesterday. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.